okay, here we go. Let's go to this little giant tree. Alright, what's going on there? Right, ooh, and Piglet staring off on a bridge. Uh, I think you're right, Piglet, what could it be? What is he doing? Oh, that's Eeyore, just casually floating along in the river. Hello, Eeyore, if it is you. Wow. Hello, Pooh, yes, it's me. Could you pull me out of it? Uh, that is, if it's not too much trouble. Of course, you don't have to if you don't want to. Yes, I recall Eeyore being very, um... Hmm, I want to say depressed, but he kind of sounds like he is. There's probably another word I'm thinking of for his attitude. Oh, okay, Pooh, you're not going to help him? Even though, you know, he asked you to help him. Thank you, Pooh. Thank you, other you. You know, floating along out there, I see something was missing. And something's still missing. My ear or your tail's gone. Yeah, lost it again. Wonder, wonder where it went this time. It's not much of a tail, though. I'm sort of attached to it. Ha ha ha. Um, no. I don't want to. Oh, God. Why are you... Just, just go away! Are you serious? You're a fucking owl. Owls are supposed to have good eyesight. gonna stand there like an idiot. Oh, I have to make him follow me. Oh my god. I really have to do this, don't I? Very slowly, very slowly you trot it along. You know, if you, if you didn't eat all that damn honey, you wouldn't be moving this slow. Creepy. I won't lie. Okay, pointless camera angle turn. You know so much, why don't you do it? And I'm sorry, that whole, oh, I could fly and look up, but my eyesight isn't as good as it used to be. Are you serious? And how is swinging him on a swing going to make that much of a difference? Oh, really? Is 
can come up with some stupid plans. Oh, that's where the tail was? In his house? Didn't actually think to look in his house, did he? Maybe you should, like, I don't know, sew that thing on? What the hell are you laughing at, you dick? Gonna stomp on some more carrots? Obtain the power of time. Stop him soon. Upgrade it to stop Ra. Alright, let's... Let's get this one out of the way. I, I hate this one so much. Involves, you know, jumping on these stupid stumps and ugh. Actually, it's not fun, it's just tedious. You realize in this one? The, uh, this one and the last one we just did, there's like no voice acting at all. Actually, in the last one, there's no voice acting either. It's like, it's weird. I think that's kind of what makes it, another thing that makes it so tedious. It's just so quiet in a way. And plus you have to read. What do I have to do? I've got to do something to get this started. Oh, I can glide now. In the past, it wouldn't let me... What? Okay, whatever. I have to talk him to the front. Yeah, this is like... Oh! I hit the wrong damn button. And yes, when you fail, you have to sit there and watch it again. Over and over. Okay, you really are being a dick. The way the camera does, the way the camera just does that when they're jumping doesn't help necessarily. You think they can kind of pan out or do like maybe an overhead view kind of? Uh, this way. I'm surprised I got that on the first try. Fantastical. <laughs> oh, it's the same as the first one, you just jump on top of the tree. What? Are you kidding me? I don't land on the fucking seesaw and I have to start over. It 
then I have to watch it again, okay? I know where to go. They should at least ask you if you want to see it again. There's no difference. I just have to jump on top of the stupid tree. Like, I didn't think you had to jump on the seesaw or whatever without hitting the ground. Oh, God, this sucks. It's really hard to see where that stupid stump is. They can see it, but it's hard to adjust the distance. Damn it! God, someone shoot me. <laughs> Can I get it this time? Yeah, that would suck if I fell off at the end. We done. Oh, this stupid jar thing. I do this 20 times. Ugh, I swear, a lot of this. I forgot about the pot thing. These are. Oh, damn, I fell off. Oh, come on! This makes no sense. I guess I gotta talk to him again. Are you kidding me? Now I can't hit it. Ugh. Finally figure out a way to somewhat hit the thing better. Instead of locking on, I just kind of push the control stick forward and that way I won't leap in the air. I'm glad you don't have to hit it, like, in a row. Like, I mean straight without missing, otherwise that would suck. That was almost four minutes. I know the next thing we have to do, we have to look for these dumb nuts or whatever. I don't know how you get that thing in there. What this is? What, this thing? I don't know. A log? Yes, I am good at everything. Why don't you just fly up and grab them? What, do you have arthritis or something? You can't grab them? Why can't I get this thing? Like, I'm touching it. What's he doing? Oh, wonderful. You're talking about honey again.
Alright, let's see what we can get. Ah, damn it. Hmm. Oh, I failed on that aspect. Why can't I get this? I'm already on the ground. No. Oh. Well, it gave us something useful. Oh, really? I can only carry one at a time? Well, that makes sense. All right then, we're getting good stuff. I still don't understand why he can't get his lazy ass up here and fly up here and get them. It makes no sense. So we're half these characters are dicks. They are. Why can't I get this? Alright, well... I'm trying to figure this out. Okay, so I just saw this trailer from that movie... In Time. Justin Timberlake. Like, uh, since when did Justin Timberlake become an action hero? I mean, it's like he started out as a singer, and now all of a sudden he's in movies, and now he's like an action hero. And so the premise of End Time is like people in the future like only live to 25 years. Once you hit 25, I don't know, like you die or something. If you buy stuff, they cost minutes on your life. And, uh, it's kind of like one of those, in the future, everything is control type thing, and then there's like one person who wants to break the rules. Like, I've, like I've, I know I've seen other movies like that, I can't recall what they are, but I've seen them. It's like, oh, come on, really? Why would you make society like that anyhow? It's kind of like the whole robots taking over the future type deal. It's like technology overcomes us and all that stuff. Uh... Oh, well, we're done. Thank God. Oh, there's a treasure chest around here, though. Oh, I can't believe I didn't even realize that get that other nut, I had to step on that stump, which made water come out of the other one, for some reason. Oh, and like a week ago, I like bought Plants vs. Zombies and played it, because, you know, I saw Nintendo Capri Sun's uh, LP of it, and I was like, that looks pretty fun, and it, it really is, it actually is a pretty addicting game. When I first saw it, I'm like, Plants vs. Zombies. Like, 
What? How does that make any sense? Well, it just sounds weird, plants versus zombies, but, you know, it's just... I don't know, it's just awesome. It's like, it's one of those things where you think, how did that person come up with that? Like, how did they come up with that idea? But hey, it works for me. I guess it's kind of like Angry Birds too, although I've only played like a little bit of it. A little bit of Angry Birds, that's about it. I don't know how you get that. It's a secret? You made me bust my ass getting these and you won't even tell me what they are? Well, let me use these before I forget them. Whatever, we're done with this.